Okay, everyone, hello. We're continuing with our uh, lesson last time. So, last time we uh, do the joint probability density function, where this is just the uh, probability for continuous random variable, which is involving two or more variables. So, uh, basically, we, we have this problem, we calculate, the first one is we, we want to evaluate if the probability or the integration, double integration from negative infinity to infinity of your f of x, y, itong function na to, is equal to 1. So, we verify natin that 1 siya last time. And then, we evaluate the probability when x is less than 1,000 or less than or equal and y is less than or equal to 2000 so we 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 do the uh, double integration for that function again but this time from 0 to 1000 and from 2000 from x to 2000 in terms of y value so ano yung representation niya sa region ito lang yung yung summation ng area na so, and that is 0 0.915 of the total probability distribution. Now, we'll proceed with the marginal probability. So, ano naman yung marginal probability? So, for marginal probability distribution, for x is just summing the probability on the given column or row for uh, y naman. So, this is noted by, so marginal probability is noted that your uh, sum of all values of y at values of x for f of x. Pag uh, marginal probability distribution naman ng y, this is just the sum of all of x's. Okay, so for example, let's have this problem. The response time is the speed of page downloaded and it's critical for mobile website. As the response time increases, customer become more frustrated and uh, potentially abandon the site for a competitive one. Let X denotes the number of bar of service and let Y denotes the response time to the nearest second for a particular user and site. So, given yung data, ito yung probability yung nandito sa box na to. And the values for X is the number of bars, ito yun. And the values of y, ito naman siya yung sa y, ito naman yung data. Okay, so erase ko lang lahat. Now, we're, we're asked to determine the marginal probability distribution of x if x is equal to 3. So this is f of x given 3. So this is just the summation of f of x, y for all values of y given x is equal to 3. So, this is just the sum of all this probability. So, pag isusulat natin siya, probability of x equals 3, y equals 1, plus probability of x equals 3, y equals 2, plus probability of x equals 3, y equals 3, and probability of x equals 3, 3, y equals 4. Okay? So, meaning, isasam mo lang ito lahat. So, ang sagot dyan, pag sinam, so let's use your calculator, 0 0.05, plus 0 0.05, plus 0 0.2, plus 0 0.25. So, the answer is 0 0.25. Okay? So, 0. 55. So, ito siya. Paste ko yung, so, you just get the sum of this column for x equals 3. This is for discrete random variable. At tingnan natin kung naintindihan. So, now, let's find the probability distribution for the following function. So, yung f of 3 ay ito lang yung sum, which is 55. So, for this table, sinam na yung column. Ito na yung marginal probability distribution for x and this is for y value. So, pag kinuha nyo yung number 1, f of x of 1, ito lang yan, 0.2. Pag f of x of 2, ito siya, 0.25. 
yung FY1 is this one, and so on, and so forth. So you just get the sum of the column and row to determine the marginal probability. Okay. Now, paano naman kung sa continuous? So for continuous function probability, so in order to get the uh, marginal probability density function, so kailangan itong f of x, y natin, matransform natin into a function of x. Ganto din yung kung pro marginal probability ng y, yung f of x, y, matransform natin into a function of y. So, paano siya ginagawa? So, for f of x, you just get the integration of uh, the function with dy for all values of y. Ganun din for y, uh, integration with dx for all values of x. So, paano siya? Example, a probability for only one random variable. So, we want to get the probability for all values of x from a to b. So, para magamit natin yung marginal, ito yung marginal distribution. So, para makuha yan, you need to evaluate yung f of x with dy. So, ayun lang yun. I-evaluate nyo lang yung dy. So, mas maganda na makita ko sa inyo sa Example. So, yung same problem natin nung nakaraan for the random variables that denotes time. In example 5-2, find the probability that y exceed 2,000 milliseconds. So, for this graph, based dito sa graph, kukunin natin yung area dito sa curve na to. Ito, yung area nito. Or yung volume. Actually, volume yun eh. Volume of that Curve. So, by uh, doing a uh, joint integration, kung gagamitin natin yung buong function, so this is just py greater than 1000, so this is just the integration. Yung dalawa, itong left region na to, for this case, from 2000 to infinity, 0 to 2000 naman, yung, ito yan, yung x, 0 to 2,000. So, 0 to 2,000 and this function. While the other region, ito naman, just from 2,000 to infinity, so ito yun, brought this one from x value, kasi may x ka na dito. So, nag-change to. Ito kasi constant. Constant yung 2,000. So, malina. So, basically, kailangan makita nyo siya for for uh, joint probability distribution. But we can use marginal uh, probability distribution. So, alipat lang ako na PowerPoint. Ito yung uh, example natin. 5-4. So, sabi doon, we want to determine yung P of Y greater than 2,000. Instead of doing a two integration set na gagawin, let's utilize uh, using marginal probability. So, for marginal probability, so we need to evaluate yung greater than, sorry, yung greater than 2,000, so 2,000 to infinity for f of y dy. So, kailangan natin makuha itong function na to. So, paano siya kukunin? So, ito ay, uh, ito lang, integration ng uh, f of x, y dx, dx siya para sa y, from 0 to y na function. So, kasi nagbabago yung y function natin. So, substitute natin. Alam natin, ito yung function natin. Ito yung f of xy, xy. Okay? Yan yung probability. Okay, burahin ko na lahat. So, by integration, so, pwedeng ilabas. Diba? So, ito, express natin siya as e to the negative 0.001x times e negative 0.002y. Then, uh, ito ay x, so dx lang siya. So, meaning this expression will be constant, kaya lalabas siya dun sa expression. So, pag ilabas na natin, just evaluate and integrate this function from 0 to y. So, let m, aren't ito. So, substitution. 
So, lalabas siya, magiging ganito. So, familiar na kayo sa ganyang integration. So, lalabas by integrating this one from 0 to M. EM lang siya. Then, that will be the value. So, ito ay binalik lang yung M value. Then, this will be your FY of Y. So, this is equal to 1. Then, we will have this final value or final function for Y. Then, Ah, uh, ito lang, ipinasok lang yung negative. So, dapat i-distribute niyo lang yung negative at saka yung uh, e-negative y para mas mabilis mag-integrate. Mamaya. Okay? Na. So, ito na, meron na tayong value ng fy. So, we just need to get the probability of y greater than 2000. So, for 2000, this is 2000 to infinity yung integration. Natin. So, let's have the integration. So, ipasok natin yung value na to dito. Ito yung mangyayari sa kanya. Okay? Pasok lang siya. Then, lalabas lang yung ito. Then, the integration will be done for two uh, function. Yung property ng integration. Sum lang siya. Or difference ng dalawang function. So, from there, balikan natin. Ito lang yun. Iniwalay ko lang. Then, mag-let Q du tayo for this expression. And V naman dv for this expression. So, pareho lang yan. Segregate lang natin. Pero gagawin ko siya together. So, from there, na-evaluate natin yung function na to. Gigi siyang du over, ay eu, du over negative 0 0.02. Ito naman ay negative 0 0.003. dv naman siya. So, by integration, lalabas lang at negative. Ito ay magiging positive na kasi parehong negative. Kaya, positive yung value. So, by integration, you know that this is EU lang from 2000 to infinity. Ito naman ay EB. Uh, this is 2000 to infinity. Pareho lang yung uh, integration natin. Okay? Then, uh, pwede natin ibalik yung u at saka v. Ilik na natin para ma-evaluate natin in terms of y. So, by substitution, magigitong negative infinity minus e to the negative 4. Ito naman ay negative infinity minus e to the negative 6. So, both e to the negative infinity will be equal to 0. So, magiging siyang ganto na lang. Negative e to the negative 4 at saka negative e to the negative 6. Susundan. Okay? Then, i-distribute natin yung negative. So, lalabas. Then, evaluate nyo na yan. So, ang sagot ay 0 0.049986. So, that is the probability. Balik tayo dito. So, ito yon yung pag-solve ng f of y. Then, this is the probability of y greater than 0 using your marginal probability. Nasusundan. So, 0 0.05. So, pareho lang yung value niya. Ito din yung evaluation natin. Okay. Now, paano naman kumuha ng mean and variance? This one is for uh, discrete probability. So, ang mean and variance natin is specific for uh, x and y. Okay? So, this one is for the mean value for and variance value for x, while well, this one is the mean and variance value for y. So, makikita nyo, ganun pa din ang mean x times f of x, yung marginal, at uh, yung variance ay x squared times f of x minus yung marginal mean. Okay? Ganun din sa y, f, y, and uh, y, f, y. Ito ay y squared, f, y minus u squared. So, pareho lang naman. But this one is a marginal uh, mean and variance. So, yung kaninang problem natin, di ba? So, nakuha natin yung mga marginal. Ito yung marginal probability. So, para makuha natin yung mean and variance, for the mean, you multiply it with y. So, ito lang yun. Imumultiply nyo dito. So, ito times ito. Ito siya. 2 times 0.5. Ito, ito, ito. Ganun din yung x, f of x. So, multiply nyo lang siya. For the variance, y squared naman yung i-multiply. So, multiply 2 squared. 
times 0.28. Uh, 1 squared pala. Ito ay 2 squared times 0.25. So, multiply nyo lang yung value. Then, you get the sum for that one. And we can determine the mean and variance. For the mean, with respect to x, this one is e of x. Okay, ito naman ay e of y. Okay, so e of x, 2.325, kasi you just get the sum of this one. And for e of y, you get the sum of this function. So, which is 2.325. For the variance, so nakuha natin yung mga nakamultiply sa squared. So, sum nyo lang yan. Then, squared nyo to, isubtract nyo yung value. Squared lang. So, that will be 0.6275 for variance of x. And uh, variance of y is 1.4099. To get the standard deviation, square root lang din ng variance. Okay? So, we'll end up.